Hi everybody. I just wanted to pop in and provide some code examples and reference to the JavaScript full screen API. And you can learn how to implement full screen toggle controls for the user into your web applications. In this first code example, we have a full document or a whole web page that can go full screen. And the toggle button goes back and forth in and out of full screen mode. So you can see it looks exactly the same as it does in full screen mode as it does in the regular desktop mode, but it has the whole browser and the bottom bar for your operating system, all that gets wiped out and the application takes up 100% of the real estate of the screen. Now in the code example, you can see we're affecting the document body. So within this JavaScript toggle full screen function, we're checking for all the uh, prefixes of the browser to see what uh, request full screen method we have to use. And here's the standard syntax. So on the document body, we run the request full screen method. And that puts the document body in full screen mode. And then we make the is full screen variable true. Because that's a variable that we created up top that has a default value false. So we just make that true. That way the application can remember that we're in full screen mode. It's just an easier way. You, there's other ways you can script that out, but I just thought that was the easiest way. And then I changed a little bit of the wrap. There's a a div wrap, like a wrapper for your, all your content. And we just adjusted some of its CSS properties to match the, the screen width and the screen height. So that's when it goes into full screen mode. And when it comes out of full screen mode, the other side of the toggle, because the first half of the toggle is if is full screen variable equals false and this variable is full screen if that happens to be true then all of this code will run and we have to check all the uh, prefixes once again for all the different browsers to get the cancel full screen method you know what I'm saying and then uh, we can put the wrap back to its default CSS settings for the width and the height that's when it comes out of full screen mode and back to normal mode, you make the is full screen variable false again. And that's how your toggle function runs. And the DB variable, you know it's document body because it shows you right there. And these specific properties of the body are here in the CSS just to make sure that it's in the top left corner without any margin space. So remember, when it goes into full screen mode, you can do any CSS adjusting to any elements that you have on the page. And there's also properties, because I'm going to lead you to the documentation. So if you see down in the documentation, when you're looking, when you're studying this page, you'll see that there's CSS pseudo selectors. See? For the full screen mode and backdrop. So you can check that all out. Implement that into your stuff. I don't give a crap. And that specification, that link I'm going to lead you to, has all the documentation on how browsers should implement it into their software. And so it shows all of the, the methods, properties. See right there? Here's all the properties. Full screen enabled is a Boolean, true or false property. Then you have the full screen element property. And on full screen change, event and the on full screen error events. So if you're familiar with programming JavaScript, those are two events that you can tap into. Here are two properties that you can tap into. And here's the exit full screen method and request full screen method. So to go into full screen, we use request full screen. To come out of full screen, we exit full screen. And we can tap into any of these properties and event handlers here. Okay, that's how you work. All right, so this example that we just showed you here is one that shows you how to make a full web page or a full document go full screen. Now, maybe you just want a single image to go full screen or a video tag or whatever you want. Okay, so here's the first example that we started off with and we're targeting the document body. But let's just make this target something else. Uh, for instance, let's go into the body and let's remove... Actually, we'll leave wrap in place and everything, and then right under that H3, I'm going to add an image element. I have an image named poster1.jpg, 
and I'm going to give this an ID of whatever, poo. Now I'll take that ID and we'll just replace DB and see if this works. Uh, instead of document body there, we'll say document dot get element by ID poo. Actually, we can send that string or the object reference for that element through the toggle full screen uh, method as an argument, but I don't want to change much up and do much work just to show you how you can uh, target just a single image on the page. So let's see. Da, da, da. Let's just see what happens. You see? It made my image full screen. Now I'll just press escape. You can have a photo gallery that when you click the image itself, it'll toggle full screen. Now you can see you'd have to change this up a bit more. Here, let me, I'll change it to actually make more sense for this example. Okay, so what I did was removed all of the CSS. So it's more like a normal document without any initial CSS in it. And I just put three images in place and each has a toggle full screen method or function being called to run for its on click method of the image. So when the user clicks the image, we'll toggle full screen, send this elements reference through that function and we pick it up right here as lm so here in toggle full screen we're picking up that argument as lm and we simply changed lm where we had document body before very simple huh okay and then i removed the code that we had under these uh, variables changing here because we don't need to change anything in a document and this can be sort of like an image gallery of sorts so if I click one, it full screens that and I just hit escape. Two, full screens that one. And I hit escape. Actually I have to double click those, so let's remove this is full screen. And we don't even need this else condition. Because they can just hit the escape key. Let's see, uh is full screen two, remove that, is full screen, get rid of that. Uh, and this initial condition here that's wrapped around that. There we go. That should do it. Let's see what we get. One, then escape. Hit three, escape. Two, escape. And you would have high resolution pictures there maybe. Mine are very small images. And so what you could do is have high resolution images there or swap these little thumbnails for a more high resolution version right here in your uh, JavaScript function. The thumbnail could be swapped for a larger, better, more uh, higher resolution image. So right when you click, it'll go into full screen mode with a higher resolution version of that image. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's easy. That's probably the easiest way you can make a photo gallery that has thumbnails with large images because there's no mechanism that you'd have to use to display the large image. They just click it and it gets full screen, then they can escape. Okay, so these are the two examples that we'll have. This one for the little ghetto image gallery, and then uh, the other one for the whole document full screen example. And we'll have that on the page at developphp.com where this uh, video will be playing. And then we'll have this link for you as well that you guys can go to to research it in depth the full screen API okay okay goodbye